Okay, so today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. First tip is this, you go to your home screen wallpaper. This always on display, it shows the, the time and the date on the lock screen. Okay, when you're in the lock screen, if you're completely screen off, but when you turn on this, it will show the day and time on the lock screen when you turn off. So let me show you how. Okay, so uh, for now, as you can see, there's a time and date and the battery and the fingerprint. And you can set the time here, the schedule. You can put all day, so you no need to set the time. And when you turn off, it will say start time and end time. The lock screen, you can show the step count. In the lock screen signature, you can put a signature on your uh, on your lock screen. Like example, memory. You will show the memory, and then when you close, you will show the name here, memory. And now it's the wallpaper screen saver. It will always change when you. Okay, so when you lock and unlock, you always change the wallpaper. So I show you how to do this. Go to system, home screen wallpaper, magazine unlock, and then this is all the all the by default photo it will show here. Huawei feature, record everything. When you enable this, you can select the subscription here. Or you can add your your photo here. When you turn on, you will always change. When you found the wallpaper doesn't change every time you unlock, make sure you go to here. Make sure this lock is unlocked. So let me show you. When I lock here, it's a green screen. And then when I open up, as you can see, it will always stay here. So when you want to turn off, click back. So you can again click that and then and then it will stay on or we change. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the notch here. So this is turn display more display settings and click notch. For now I select this, we can select this. As you can see here. And then when I select, we will close it up. And I open it, it will become like this. Okay, now I want to show you how to enable the Dolby sound. Go to setting, search sound. There's a Dolby and Elmos. There's a Dolby and Dolby Elmos. By default, it will enable. And the more you can choose smart, smart is a default. And firm is uh, it's like a, it has a some sounding sound as you can see clear dialog music you can select the the equalizer by open reach off or focus. Okay, now oh, let me change back the film. Now I'm gonna show you. Uh, by default, this system color is white, but I change it to black, like this one now. So I show you how to do it. You go setting, battery, and then as you can see, uh, there's a darker interface color. This is a color to change the the, the inside the system here. So when I enable, it will become white, and then I enable back, it will become black.
Then how to enable the wireless charging? Can the system battery? And then go to the way down here, and then you will select the. You will see the wireless reverse charging to enable. And then it will show you how to how to do it, and then you click OK, and then that's it. So now I'll show you how to change the fingerprint ID. Go to setting. And you find um, security privacy, and then there's a fingerprint ID, best recognition, and a lock screen password. So let me then you choose the fingerprint. Is the fingerprint list you can put onto five, five fingerprints. So you have when you want to insert more fingerprint, you can choose here in new in screen fingerprint. I'll show you how to do it, and then you click and roll, and then there's a start it. You just click it. Just and now is the next step. And then you're done. And then you click OK. And then there's a fingerprint ID here. You can you can click the identify fingerprint to check which one is okay. This is a fingerprint ID three. Yeah, and the uh, lock screen password you can change the lock screen password. And then when you lock when you come in, you will set a set a six digit P. Or you can change the method. There's a four pin, custom pin, pattern, and password. Select one of them and then do the, the rest. So let me show you the custom pin. Custom pin, you can enter the four to sixteen digit of pin. And then this is a pattern style for the other unlock. It's password. Password is uh, you must set from minimum four to sixteen characters, including at least one letter. So it's an alpha numbering as you can put in the as a password. Smart unlock with your Bluetooth device. This is a smart unlock with the Bluetooth device. Uh, your variable device has to register and pairing with this phone. So you are recognize two of them. So this your variable device, the smartwatch example, the smartwatch you can use a smartwatch to unload this. For the app load, you can use the app load here use by the fingerprint, and then you can enable which app you want to log in. Private space is like is like a to it allows to create a separate zone in your zone device that you only you can access from the lock screen you can use the separate fingerprint to enter the private space so meaning you can create a space here like this show you and then you can put it on the on the other side I set a separate uh, different private space password uh, you set another account in the this phone so you have the two account in this phone it's like uh, your Microsoft Windows. You have you can set a two admin account. One for you, one, one for uh, maybe a uh, daily use. One for uh, for your working working usage. So this phone can do that. But you have to set a two different password uh, with a two different account and uh, with a two uh, different fingerprint. But some of the phone when you wearing the glove like iPhone, it cannot detect. So but this one. You have to enable it, but default it was a uh, disable to setting, and then you go to the uh, smart system, and then accessibility to select graph mode. You will enable it when your friends call you or people call you uh, by the phone. You can use the this power button. Usually, when uh, your friend call you, you will uh, click to unlock, right? And then you take pick up the phone. And then after you finish the call, you have to uh, touch screen, click it, and then it will end the call, right? But this has a shortcut. You can just click uh, the 
the power button you just click it and then it will unlock so how to do it you go to setting smart assistance accessibility and then you go to here the power button and call to enable it. enable it this one by default is disabled okay how to use the gesture in this phone like an iphone okay uh, normally android it will show here the the multitasking icon home button return so you can like iphone you can put it up you can put it up and then it will show the uh, the, the multitasking here and then you click clear to click it out you can when you go to home you come back to home home page so how to do it you go to system scroll all the way down to system and then you find the name called system navigation and then here here is gesture three key navigation the three key navigation you have the as you can see you have a return home and a multitasking and uh, this is a notification uh, pull tab and then this one is uh, just a home button here by default it was uh, using a three key navigation so I select this as you can see it will show you something here the return home and multitasking use the gesture it will remove so and then you can see the setting here it will show you how to use it you can use your finger to move back by just like it on the side of the screen slide it out for home recent task you can just slide for half screen and then we show it up to use a google assistant you slide over here slide over way back here or here it will show you the google assistance okay so this is a video for part one and i have another video for part two so I see you next video.